In this installment, we're going to be going over the NBA playoff bets for Friday, April 19th. This is the finale of the play-in. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Chef Dean. I'm here to bring you the winning ingredients for our April 19th play-in finale uh, going down on Friday. But before I deep dive into that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MetsNetsJetsD. Don't forget about that TikTok at Chef underscore D91. And don't forget about the Patreon. Right now, we're at the homepage of the YouTube channel, currently at 4.17 thousand subscribers. You guys are doing phenomenal right now now continue to show love and support here if you're already subscribed continue to like and comment that helps the youtube algorithm if you're not currently subscribed go ahead and join the community that we're building on youtube and on patreon and hit that subscribe button right now all right now let's go over to the patreon the patreon on wednesday was on fire all right, out of all the plays, we were seven out of nine. I had one of two for the NBA. And for the MLB, I was six out of seven, only getting that Cardinals game wrong. But as things are up, things tend to go down as well. On Thursday, got to show you the bad too. On Thursday, the main plays were absolutely horrible. They did not come through. Uh, we're waiting on, hopefully, the Giants to come through, but we'll wait and see there. The Cubs game was canceled, but the other three games, Angels, Tigers, and Red Sox, they lost. So we had some highs and we had some lows, but that's going to come with the lumps. I stay. I, I'm, you, you've been with me through the journey. People, You can look at the comments. People have been winning off my plays. You already know what it is. If you want the premium bets, sign up for the Patreon link provided down below. First game up, we have the Chicago Bulls, who are 39 and 43, going up against the Miami Heat, 46 and 36. This is for that number eight spot to face the Boston Celtics, all right? Boston Celtics are going to go up against one of these two teams we see right here. Looking at the current odds, Miami Heat, minus 130 on the money line with the comeback of the Chicago Bulls at a plus 105. The current point spread is at two and a half, and the total is set at 205 and a half all right for the public bet percentage we have 75 percent of the bets um towards miami but 60 percent of the money towards chicago all right point spread 72 percent of the bets and 61 percent of the money towards the heat to cover and for the total we're at 97 percent of the bets 93 percent of the money towards the over 205 and a half the crucial point in this particular matchup between the bulls and the miami heat is the injury report all right so for the chicago bulls alex caruso is highly questionable ayo desumno and andre drummond um they were able to finish the game they're regular questionable but they they're looking like they're gonna play the question mark the big question mark is alex caruso he came down uh gimpy uh twice in the game he bumped it to andre drummond and won and he hurt himself on another play we have to wait on news on his ankle if he's going to be 100% to go in this game. So that's the only person you're waiting for for the Chicago Bulls, all right? For the Miami Heat, it's really, really bad for them, all right? Jimmy Butler, out. Terry Rozier, out. But the good news is you get a three-point shooter back in Duncan Robinson. He is probable. But you're missing your leader, your, your engine in Jimmy Butler. But this is, I get it, Miami culture, Heat culture. Uh, Eric Spolster is the coach. They have a lot of advantages, even without Jimmy Butler. That's why they are still favorited at home at this two and a half. All right. It's just instilled that Miami, that the way they play when things get turned on in the playing and playoffs, even without Jimmy Butler, they are a very good team. If we look at the numbers without Jimmy Butler this season, the Miami Heat are 13 and nine. So slightly over 500, not, you know, stupendous, but. Hey, it's it's still winning basketball without Jimmy Butler, okay? But you're also missing Terry Rozier. So two people are going to have to step up. Um, obviously, Tyler Hero, Bam Adebayo, and Duncan Robinson, uh, his first game back, he's going to be have to be knocking down the three-point ball. All right, so if we're looking at these two matchups here, during the regular season, just so you get an idea, these two teams were pretty even. They tied the season series two to two, all right? So 
going off my performance of what we saw in that previous game, Chicago Bulls look phenomenal. Clicking on all cylinders, I get it. They're going to have to focus in on DeMar DeRozan to try to stop him, but I'm very glad to see Kobe White stepped up. Um, I'm glad to see Ayo DeSumo was able to put in some buckets as well. They have some other guys they, that they can lean on for the Chicago Bulls. Obviously, um, Vucevic as well, he can come through. So I'm going to go with the healthier team here. The team that's been playing a little bit better, they handle the Atlanta Hawks uh, very well here. Give me the underdog Chicago Bulls going against a hampered Miami Heat team. I know people are still smashing in on the Miami Heat. I'm going to go against the grain here. Um, and I'm just going to go with the team that's healthier and playing a little bit better basketball as of right now all right so give me the chicago bulls we're going to take them on the money line this is when i go home uh so give me them on the money line because this is pretty much a pick them uh it just dropped it was two and a half did not just say two and a half so now it, the, it dropped so um and for the total we're gonna go with the under the only way miami can keep this close all right they're gonna have to hunker down on defense, I think is going to be highly competitive. I'm going to lean slightly to the under here. If, if you want to give Miami a shot, you're going to have to play deep playoff defense here to keep this game close. And so Chicago Bulls do not pull away because they surely can. They got some guys capable uh, to really um, put some pressure on the Miami Heat there. So lean towards the under, but the main play, Chicago Bulls money line. Last but not least, on the Friday slate, we have the Sacramento Kings, 46 and 36, going against the New Orleans Pelicans here, 49 and 33. Uh, looking at the odds here, we have the Pelicans at home as home dogs, plus 100 on the money line for the Pelicans with the comeback of the Kings at minus 120. Point spread is a one and a half. This is another pick them game. So, very close spreads in both games that we got for Friday. The total here is at 210 and a half. Looking at the uh, public bet percentage here 53% of the bets and 84% of the money on the Kings for the point spread 70% of the bets 79% of the money on the point spread and for the total points 96% of the bets 97% of the money on the over to 10 and a half all right for the injury report still the Sacramento Kings are going to be relying on their starting five okay starting five is going to have to step up because there's no Malik Monk no Kevin Herter Guys like uh, Trey Lyles is going to have to step up, Alex Len, uh, other guys like that, Davion Mitchell. But that those are two key factors there. Their six man and Kevin Herter, a very dangerous uh, three point shooter. Both of those guards could def defend very well. So having them both out is going to hurt them. And for the Pelicans, uh, they are going to be without Zion Williamson. All right. So that's negative news there. But the Pelicans have stars that they can lean on Brandon Ingram. Uh, CJ McCollum, Trey Murphy has stepped up. So Jonas Valachunas is still there down low to bang um, uh, with DeMontis Sabonis. Um, so this game here is very interesting between the Kings and the Pelicans. The reason why I say that is because the Pelicans literally, absolutely dominated the Kings in the regular season. They have something over the Sacramento Kings that they just can't get over. And now you're telling me you're out without Malik Monk, without Kevin Herter. The Pelicans beat the Kings five times this season already. And they're about to go for a six. It's it's pretty tough. The Kings don't already play any defense. That's the issue. I don't know what it is about the Pelicans, but they hold a stranglehold over the Sacramento Kings. And to top it off with that, they beat the Sacramento Kings by 33 points. Without Zion, by 33 points without Zion. So it's, get, it's hard for me to look at the Kings right now. They played uh, an older Golden State Warriors team. I know a lot of, I was on them. I was on them. I thought Kerry was going to wake up, but you saw the body language of the Warriors. They were not in it. They Once they got down, it was pretty much over after that that little comeback in the early, uh, early third quarter. That was pretty much it. All right. But this is a young team here in the New Orleans Pelicans that are very scrappy, that can shoot threes even better than the Sacramento Kings. Uh, McCollum, watch out for McCollum. He had a bad game against the LA Lakers, but that's what he wasn't doing that leading up to this, this to this play-in. He was on fire. 
Okay, so we're going to be going with the, the Pelicans on the money line here. We're going to go with the, another underdog. Um, and for the total, give me the over 210 and a half. Sacramento Kings don't play defense. New Orleans can score in bunches, even without Zion. I love the over in this game. That's probably my favorite bet. Over 210 and a half. Love it there. And give me the money line of the Pelicans. All right. That's going to be the breakdown for the Friday play in finale. We have the playoffs coming very, very soon. I will be dropping my series uh, wins um, in the Patreon. All right. If you want to see who's going to win the series and get the great odds, you can hop on the odds right now. I'm just going to straight up win the series. Go to that Patreon link. That's going to be posted sometime on Friday, sometime on Friday or early Saturday. It's going to be out before the, the playoffs officially start. So if you want that information, go to that link provided down below. Other than that, guys, thank you for tuning in. Continue to comment. Uh, let me know if you agree on the, uh, on my selections of the Bulls or the Pelicans. Do you have a prop that you want to talk about? Do you disagree? You want to come at me. Come at me down there in that comment section down below. It's going to be fun down there. Uh, I'll be back very soon with another video. Peace out.